take you on a quick journey. Our very, very first lesson together, we had a look at three-dimensional trig, right? It was the same stuff with right angled triangles, but we made things not just be flat, but like go up into the air, like measure the height of a flagpole or a tree or something like that, okay? So we started with 3D. We then moved forward. We had a look at these things called exact values. There were particular angles, particular angles where when you do sine or cos of those angles, you get nice neat numbers out that are exact rather than like messy weird decimals like sine 71. Okay. Does anyone remember what those angles were? We started with 3 and then we added them to 5. So we started with 30, 45 and 60. And then what we did was, for the next steps, we added a couple more, which I'll talk about in a second. From exact values, we said, these angles, right, they're all acute. They're all acute, they're less than 90 degrees, okay? But we want to be able to go past that. So we introduced the unit circle. The unit circle. We said, you can think about sine and cos by thinking about this guy and its coordinates rather than just triangles, right? Uh, another name for this, which you might sometimes see in different textbooks or revision chapters, are angles of any magnitude, which is just another way of saying more than 90 degrees. Okay? Once we did that, we added in here 0 degrees and 90 degrees. Okay? So for example, sine 0 is 0, cos 0 is 1, and we got all of that off the unit circle. You can do the same thing for 90 degrees. Okay? Where do we move from there? We spent a lot of time drawing. Actually, we've been drawing a lot during this topic, okay? Um, in fact, one of the key skills of trigonometry is that visual component, thinking visually. So we did all the dra graphs. We did sine, we did cos, and Then, thinking about sine and cos and tan, we noticed that those trigonometric functions, sine, cos, tan, they're related to each other. They're not like just three random things, okay? They are actually connected in really important ways. For instance, we learned that the reason why cosine is called cosine is because the cos stands for complement, right? So for example, sine 30 is equal to cos 60 because 60 is the complement of 30, right? And you can do that for any angle. You could say sine of 47 will be cos of, what would the complement be? It's a bit harder. 43, right? And you can go on and on and on. There are complementary relationships like this one. There are also supplementary relationships. One of which we noticed with the ambiguous um, case for sine. Do you remember that? So for example, you could say, I'll come back to sine 30 again. Sine 30 is also the same as sine 150, right? And that's, that's the ambiguous case right there. If you're trying to find an angle in a triangle and use the sine rule and 30 degrees is an answer, 150 degrees will also be an answer. So those were the relationships. We spent some time solving trigonometric equations like tan x equals negative one. What, what are the solutions to that? How many solutions are there? Okay. Um, cos x equals root three on two, et cetera, et cetera. And then the last thing we've kind of finished off with is all of this measurement stuff in triangles that aren't right angled. Okay. So in order, we learn the sine rule. Then we learn the cosine, cosine rule. And today, we learned about the area of a triangle. And all of these are called non-right-angled triangles. Okay. And then we stopped. There's a lot, isn't there, right? Do you remember when I showed you that table at the beginning of um, our lessons where I said, look at all these <laughs> connections that are happening, okay? Let me try to explain why this is happening. In general maths, right, and you don't have to write this down, but I'm going to just because it'll make it easier for me to illustrate to you, right? In general maths, trig does one thing. Trig stays in triangles, okay? Trig stays in triangles. You'd, you'd think that's pretty common sense, right? Because trigonometry means the measurement of triangles, okay? But in two unit, we learn the tree can do much more, okay? In fact, primarily we use it to model the physical world. Uh, you remember how when we looked at graphs, graphs, right? The sine graph looks like this. It goes up and down and up and down and up and down. Okay? So anything in nature, and it turns out there's lots of things that go up and down and up and down and up and down like this, you can model with trig. 
Okay. Example: the tides of the beach. They go up and down in this pattern. Okay. Um, you know how when you came in this morning at um, 7:45, the sun was up. Okay, and it was reasonably bright, uh, and the sun was quite high in the sky. Okay. In the middle of July, it's substantially lower and a lot darker, right? If you go through the times in the year, like, sorry, the days in the year, and you just take a picture of how high the sun is at a particular time, like, say, 745, it goes up and it goes down exactly in this pattern, right? You guys do science, in physics, radio waves, light waves, all of them, they go up and down and up and down exactly like this. So in order to understand all of that, you need all of this extra trig. That's why we do it now, because it leads into two unit next year. Okay? Just to give you one more illustration. I think trig's a bit like a smartphone, okay? Or you just call them phones these days because no one uses the other kind, right? If you've got parents and like they've only just recently upgraded to a smartphone, right? Um, they think that all this kind of thing does is like it makes calls and it sends texts, right? That's all it does. And you're like, no, it does. Like, that's only 2% of what I use this thing for, right? I use it for all these other things. Thinking that tree, right, only stays in triangles is like thinking this thing only makes calls and sends texts. It does so much more than that, right? And your parents will say, but I have to learn all this other stuff. Like, I have to WhatsApp, how do you even, what does that even mean, okay? Um, all these extra skills open up a whole new world. Okay. 